Well, apple picking season is now in full swing, and that means lots of course cider, pies, and crisps. But what if you could no longer pick that popular fall fruit? Our changing climate is putting our beloved apples at risk. ABC News chief climate correspondent Ginger Z shows us how researchers are trying to keep the apple's future from going sour. Who doesn't love a good fall apple picking outing? It's become an annual pastime for a lot of people. But now the popular fruit is being threatened by human amplified climate change, impacting both the quality and availability of all kinds of apples. As summers get longer and hotter, the USDA says that these shifting seasons and more frequent weather extremes are altering apple development and affecting the trees that they grow on. And so we have two things happening. One is the heat this summer, which essentially sped up the ripening of the fruit that was on the tree. We also are finding bloom is starting earlier, so the clock starts early. This year, apples from Michigan to Maryland are ripening one to two weeks earlier than usual, triggering a premature start to apple picking season. Michigan, one of the country's top apple producing states, had its warmest winter on record, followed by its warmest spring in more than a decade. In Maryland, extreme heat this summer hit during a crucial stage of apple development. It's the temperature for the tree it's also a temperature problem for the fruit because the fruit is sitting there in the sun and you don't want it to cook. Dr. Chris Walsh says varieties like the Macintosh don't develop as much red color and are less crisp when late summer and early fall temps are too high. Our changing climate is also shifting where certain apple varietals grow best. To ensure that apples are available for generations to come, Walsh says that we need to help them adapt. What we're trying to do is recognize that Further north, if you're still growing Macintosh or varieties like that, if they were Labor Day apples a while ago in Michigan and, and uh, Massachusetts and New York, they might be ripening two weeks earlier now. To combat this, he and a team of researchers at the University of Maryland are developing hybrids. They are more heat and disease resilient. They do this by crossbreeding the desirable traits of apples typically found in warmer climates and that mature later in the season. Two recently developed varieties are currently undergoing grower trials at nurseries in several states, and the team hopes that one day you'll find them at an apple orchard near you. With this Climate Minute, I'm Ginger Z.